Hello, this is Daniel, and this is, well, a person that is very much interested in saving people, because we have to. Basically, the world's not ending, or is it? That's all I'm going to talk about. Many of you um, are just wondering, when is the world going to end? Is it ending today, or is it ending soon? But we don't know until it actually happens. Because the Lord actually will come in like a thief in the night. But really, it's just unknown to what's going to happen. We don't really don't know what's going to happen until... Well, okay. All we need to do is repent basically in Jesus' name, because he can introduce himself as the Father, or he can introduce himself as the Holy Ghost, because he's actually God. God is perfect. And you don't know what he really is. And he is the Almighty Savior, and he is the person that can save you when you repent of your sins, get baptized in Jesus' name, and then basically actually just he'll come right to you. Like he'll come right to you like a dove, like the Holy Ghost himself. He's actually the only safe fear that can save people. If you um want to change a person's mind? Well, only God can. You can change a person's mind, but not you yourself. And the thing is, if we're at the end, then we'll hear of wars of great... well, I don't know what we'll hear, but the Bible does say that we'll never know what the end is. But the most important thing is we have to do is the what just happens and who is left behind but we don't want to be left behind because if we are God's people he won't leave us behind if that makes sense many of you are stumbling and thinking well, how can a living God leave many people left be behind in the disaster area? Well, we don't know who he is, but... Well, we don't know why he does things, but we know who he is. And we know that he's all perfectly loving. We know that. But we should also know is... that will leave people behind that are not his. And remember, uh, and imagine, imagine if there was this person that gave your baby drugs. I heard that from a pastor of mine. Now that baby would be in danger, wouldn't he? But if you saw that he was giving the baby drugs, you would have to get him out of the whole place, if that makes sense. But God is all loving. Now, imagine if you're leaving this world in a few seconds. But maybe we'll have centuries. Maybe we'll have years. Maybe we'll have hours. Maybe we'll have minutes. Maybe we'll have minutes. But pray and repent and all that. And this seems to repeat itself, so I'm pretty much done, right? Okay. 